where am I coming up with these amazing cars? We've got another one right here, a 1967 Corvette Big Block, 427, four-speed posi, factory cold air conditioning, claim to have 35,000 actual miles, number match front to back, has the protecto plate, which verifies it is authentic, a really, really nice example of a really awesome car. That top is down. Let's go for a spin. I did buy this from a real good seller. I bought a Camaro from him in the past, and it was amazing. Uh, and I just bought this and a 65 Fuley Corvette from him. Uh, both cars are amazing. So I'm really, really happy with all three cars I've gotten from him. He's from Omaha, Nebraska. This car has lived in that area all of its life. The Protecto plate says it was sold in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, apparently those people owned it for 20 something years. Another elderly man owned it for 20 something years. So it's always lived in that area. It's only had a few owners. I don't have actual proof of any of that, but the car speaks for itself. When you get in a low mile car, it just feels and looks and performs differently. Um, so again, I don't have proof, but I'm certainly a believer. Now the Protecto plate is a warranty card you got when you bought it new and it has the codes for the motor, the trans, the rear. So if you brought it in for warranty work, they would check the codes and make sure that's still the original component that they sold you. Uh, so that verifies the car. All those numbers on the plate match the car uh, components. Uh, and it says who bought it new and the day they bought it. Uh, so some pretty cool stuff there. So anyway, let's talk about the body. I mean, one of the sleekest looking cars of all time. Uh, the big block comes with the Stinger hood, which is just awesome. I think half the small block vets have the Stinger on it now just because they look so cool. But the body itself is in excellent shape. This is all absolutely straight and clean. You have some minor, you know, surface, hairline, cracks at the corner there and this side too a little bit worse uh, but other than that the body itself is excellent believed to be a no-hit body it's all fits nice it's all nice and straight and clean doors beautiful shape all lines up spot on shuts like new so yes the body is excellent even claim to be some of its paints original. That I don't know. It does have original weather strips on it, uh, and the paint shows really well. Uh, it's original marina blue car, laid out real nice. It's glossy. I stand here, and it looks like a perfect show car. Uh, but when you get up close, when you own it, you'll find the little flaws, like the mark that they all get from the convertible top resting on there. Little imperfections. To be very honest, this section right here has been painted at one time. It's a slightly different color. And again, it's not, it doesn't jump out at you, but it, it's there. Um, <clears throat> I know there's some more flaws in the paint. Little, little speck of a flaw right there. Gosh, there's really not much. Here's a little cracking in the paint, not the body, but a little bit in the white, a little bit of crackling. There's like a little, I don't know, that wipes off. So the paint is really sharp, really slick, enough with the paint. Uh, the chrome bumpers are nice and shiny. The grill looks to be really uh, clean. Windshields crystal clear. All the trim's original, it's not beat up. It's just very nice. Door handles shiny, rocker trim is shiny has the correct 15 inch rally wheels. The trim is all shiny. Uh, looks like some fairly new tires on there. You can see pictures of the convertible top on our website. It's in really nice shape. Uh, pretty sure it's white. Back bumpers are real nice. A little bit of pitting on the original tail lights. Uh, all this looks really good. Original antenna, correct style antenna. The bow tie mirror. Good looking car. Let's open it up, see what it looks like inside. All right, they don't have a trunk, so we're going to give you a little up close to the back end and we'll jump right into the interior. Beautiful white interior, 
Yeah, you know, weather strips look to be original, so they're a little, little cracking, but they're in good shape. White door panels are in really nice shape. If you get up close and personal, it's just, just enough patina. It tells you it might be original. If this is clean to be. This is all in excellent shape. Look how nothing's faded or worn or cracked or beat up. 35,787 miles claimed to be the original. The dash pads, the whole instrument area is excellent. All the knobs are real nice. Quartz movement in the clock. AM, FM radio works. Glove box door is mint. Now look at this. This is an original sticker. So this, this is absolutely original. Look how clean it is. Now in here is the glove box pouch with the manuals. And this is the Protecto plate that I talked about. This adds a lot of value to this car. Here's the engine number, uh, the rear end number, the transmission number and they all match what's on this car. So they are the original, sold new in Lincoln, Nebraska on July 18th of 67. So that's a pretty late 67 car. I'm putting this in the office. That's how valuable that is. Interior lights work, it's got nice carpet. The seats they claim are original. They're really nice, you know, a little bit baggy. The threads are a little worn, just enough patina where, you know what, it could be original. Uh, it's got the correct blue seat belts. They're not beat up or worn. Console's real nice, the right shifter. <clears throat> it's the correct blue and white interior. Backs of the seats, carpet, all that's really good. Lights working back there. The steering wheel doesn't even have any cracks. There is a hairline crack in the horn button. But the steering wheel itself looks great. Visors and mirror are real nice. Again, it's just it's just a nice car. You can inspect it and find imperfections, but it's it's a good car. So we got some good stuff going on here. Power brakes, power steering, and factory air, and the air conditioning works. We charge the air, and as of right now, it is blowing cold. This is the original motor. We checked all the casting codes, the casting dates, the stamp on the front with the original brooch marks, the VIN number matches, and again, it matches the Protecto plate. All stock manifolds. It has the spot weld dimples. Those are original valve covers. The 390 horse were painted orange like that. I took the air cleaner off. It's the original carburetor, been professionally restored. It looks like new. There's one on eBay right now for three grand. The right air cleaner, the right uh, ignition shielding with the braided plug wires. Something to do with because they're a fiberglass car, it doesn't have good ground, you'll get buzzing through the radio. Uh, your power brakes, got a washer fluid bag down here. All this is proper and correct, the right hose. Again, factory air, reproduction hoses and clamps, reproduction battery cables. Uh, this is a very detailed motor. Even they got correct stickers they put back on the suspension, the back of the valve cover. Look how clean it is down there. Runs strong. Speaking of running strong, Caleb's going to take you guys for a drive. Wish I could go. Gorgeous 67 vet, guys. 427, four speed, taking her around the block, showing you how she drives. Such a sweetheart of a car. For supposedly being all original, it sure drives nice. It's going through the gears really smooth. The clutch feels great on it. We're gliding over the bumps. To get out on a nice day. Uh, it's a little brisk out, so we got the heat on. It's ripping perfectly. Uh, it's keeping us both warm. I even have the windows down right now, so it's nice. 
All the gauges seem to be working on the dash. Getting up to temp here. Power steering. Nice. Let's see if the turn signal, turn signal lights up. We'll see if it cancels. Let's see what this baby's got. Oh yeah, it's like a little rocket ship. What a fun car to drive. <laughs> Doing 60 miles an hour like nothing. I think this thing could do 100 and you wouldn't even feel like you're going 100 in it. That's how smooth it's driving, guys. Straight down the road, there's no weird vibrations or rattles, anything that I feel. Look at this, smooth, straight, right down the road, it's aligned correctly. Try the radio. There we go. Got some tunes. Brakes work really well. Do a pretty abrupt stop. This is just such a nicely put together car. Man, this is this is one of those cars that'll bring some youth back in you when you drive it. So you might have to drive it every day. What a wonderful piece of machinery. Just wants to go. Get up and go. Well, yeah, there you have it. 427 back. So you're looking at a beautiful car. You should see the undercarriage. We have lots of pictures of all of our cars on our website, bolocars.com. Uh, it looks like a body off frame restored car. Someone got under there and they must have cleaned and rebuilt and detailed the underside. So these have four wheel independent suspension, four wheel disc brakes, and every part of it looks like it was taken apart, restored. It's all detailed, the chassis and all the components are clean. All the bushings and suspension and springs and shocks look like they're new. Uh, the correct dual exhaust system looks nice and clean. Uh, the fiberglass floors are raw fiberglass from the factory. They're always painted over, they're painted black. If they fix it or there's damage, they paint them black. This is the raw fiberglass and it looks like new has the spare tire carrier in back in real nice shape. You look up at the motor, it's all clean Chevy orange, the correct starter, the right canister type oil filter, the four speed transmission, it's a Muncie, and the codes are on the Protecto plate, they match, and the VIN number of the car is stamped on the transmission. That's the original trans. The rear end is the original, it's a 308 Posi, Again, the codes match the Protecto plate. It's dated properly for this car. Uh, so all the original components, everything I checked, I'm not going as far as distributor and you know all the odds and ends, horn relay, things like that. But if you ever buy the car, it's something you might want to check. A lot of that stuff might be original because this is, again, claimed to be a low mile uh, car. So it's beautiful, four speed, big block, air, number match, documented. This is investment grade car, folks, that you can actually enjoy. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can reach out to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions, uh, like how to get this to your driveway, how to get it financed. And if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.